Welcome to the Outer Rim Rookie. My name's Rob Williams. Uh, it's a special day. It's a special day today. And uh, I've got something in the package that finally arrives. Long time coming. Long time. This package is from Regal Robot. It is the Rees Concept Maquette. I have been looking forward to this for a long time. I ordered it like day one. It sold out day one. And if you don't know, if this is the first time on the channel, I kind of have a thing for Rees here. He is like my favorite Star Wars uh, alien. Pretty much my favorite Star Wars character. It's a long story. I have a wonderful collection of Rees action figures, busts, coins, orig my original figure, whole bunch of stuff. That's why this is so important to me. I uh, I can't even remember how much it cost. I think it was like five, six hundred dollars Canadian because of the uh, shipping, because of the, twice shipping twice, by the way, because of the currency exchange, all that sort of stuff. And I'm looking forward to opening this up. I haven't even opened it up yet. This item traveled from Regal Robot, traveled all the way north to Blaine, Washington, where it sat there. And then for some reason, it was sent back to Regal Robot. Uh, they were kind enough to notify me that it was returned, check to see if it was okay, and then send it to my buddy Steve Three, who lives in California himself. He traveled up to Edmonton, shipped it from Edmonton. It traveled across the Rocky Mountains, all the way to Vancouver, to my home. And here it is. I'm very curious to see what the shape is like inside. It seems pretty solid, but I can only guarantee it's been dropped and banged a couple times on this long travel. So let's open this up and see what's going on. But I have to do it over there because I don't have enough space over here. So let's let's head over to the other room, shall we? All right, here we are back in the other room, which is the other side of the bed. Let's open this up. As I said, I am a super Rees fan. In fact, I am building a Rees costume for the 501st, currently working on that. I was just at my friend's house last night working on the tunic. There we go. Have a mask, everything is gonna look sweet. I mean, even made a blaster, which is another video. So here is the Regal Robot concept maquette of Rees. I'm looking forward to this. We'll talk more about what it is exactly when we open it up. And uh, here we go. Oh, look at this. Add character to your space. Thank you. So it looks like a Regal Robot postcard or so with some information. Decorate on the dark side. Oh, this is gonna be a day long remembered. Here we go. I can, if this has been dropped, I'm pretty confident it's been, it's pretty safe in here. Ho, ho, ho. All right. There you are. There you are, my pretty. Okay, let's just, Oh, is there anything else in here? Is there anything? Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, there is something here. There's something right on the side here. Okay, we're gonna figure out what that is. I believe that's, I believe this is the nameplate of the artist who originally did the maquette. Okay, here we go. That's about it. Put you this way. Oh, ho, 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 ho. The paint job on this is a oh, it's amazing. I love it. And the pictures look even paler, but this is really good. This is like, I know these are all hand painted, but we'll talk more about that in detail. A bit of a scratch on the back there. You can see a scratch happening right here, but you know what? I'm not too concerned about that. I'm gonna make sure that it's good on all sides here. Oh, it's just it's just styrofoam. Look at that. Look at the detail on that. I'll do some close-ups in a second here, but that is amazing. I love that. So there you go. This is the original design of Rii. So this is a 3D scanned print of the original maquette that you can find at Lucas Studios. Just a beautiful job. 
you can see all the detail, the lumps and the bumps and the, the skin, the paint job, as I said, was hand painted by the people at Regal Robot. They did a fantastic job. 3D printed in resin. And you'll notice his mouth is a lot short. It's a lot shorter than what we're familiar with with Reese. I mean, here's an action figure. You can see his mouth is, goes past his eyes, like very far past his eyes. The original design was like this. I remember seeing this when I was younger and uh, noticing how small it is. I'm so glad they pulled it out even further and gave it some width in the movie, but I love that they kept it like this in the maquette. They didn't want to alter it. The detail in those eyes. <laughs> All the, the deep crevices in there. This is amazing. And he's a little bit nude as well. He's got no clothes on. I've never noticed this. It's like his clavicle, his uh, just trudes out. I mean, that just sticks out there. Look at that. You have his little dongly things at the top, his ears, his three eyes. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to stop moving it so much here. Let's take a slow look at the top there. All the wrinkles in the eyes and how you can tell that thing just kind of, it kind of protrudes out and in and it can move. Oh, I'm super excited about this. I'm super excited. I'm so glad I was able to get this. I do notice, I was I'm looking here, there is something happening there. I don't know if that is from shipping or something came off or is that the paint job? I did notice that. It's unfortunate, but maybe it's part of it. I gotta take a deeper look into it. I don't see any pieces that fell out of this. Although I think if I, yeah, that piece was poking out. I remember when I was opening it. So it's possible that it just got a little bit scuffed, but you know what? Reuse is not perfect. I'm going to have to just accept for what it is. Although, you know, you pay a lot of money. It's, you kind of wish that it wasn't like that, but I don't know if this is really what, if it's, if I can control that situation, but back to this, the back here. Oh, so bumpy, so very bumpy. I'm liking this, the jowls here, nice. Oh, I just like, I. you can just look at it for yourself. It looks really good. Oh, I, gotta, I gotta invest in a turntable just so I can rotate this around. Look at the top there, it's just that nice little, almost like skin mohawk that happens there. You can see the anatomy of this character, of this alien. and and just the fat and muscles and bone and other excess stuff. It's just great. And I own a mask done by, I believe, 10 horns, seven heads, or is it 10 heads, seven horns, or something like that. I still can't get the name right. It, the skin job on here is a lot more bumpier than the mask, but it does, like, I look at these little dongly things, I don't know the name of it, it looks just like the mask. And um, it's just so good. Did a great job. Now, let's take a look at the uh, label here. Should we? So this is a little plaque that goes in the front. On Regal Robot, you can see them having a chat with uh, Chris Wallace and um, the artist, sorry, the artist who originally did this. This is a signature from Chris Walls. What number is this? 54. All right, 54. Not really worried about numbers. If it was a lucky, my lucky number 22, hey, done. Love it. But uh, hey, not concerned about numbers in this one. So this little pack signed by Chris Walls, the original designer of the original maquette, which this is 3D printed, as I said. I love, I thought this would be glued on, but it just sits there. It's a nice, it's, that's awesome. It just sits right in front. If you take a look at the bottom, nice half circle. It's plastic, you can tell it's a little hollow. It's a nice little plaque. It's got some weight to it, balance. It sits there, it doesn't block. I like that. Oh, it's gonna great. It's great, it's great. Love it. I don't wanna to touch the front here because I'm afraid I'll wipe off the signature. But um, look at that, that's great. So check out Regal Robot. They have an interview with Chris Wallace and his idea of the maquette and how he came up with designing this. Fun fact, Reese, this alien character, was originally supposed to take the place of Admiral Akbar. Uh, I believe Lucas liked the Mon Calamari design better, 
So we stuck with that and, and relegated this guy to Jabba's Palace. I'm just going to sit here right now. So only complaints I have of this, uh, one, I wish it would ship to Canada, but that's out of their control, I believe. Uh, I don't think they can do anything about that uh, legal rules, I believe. Uh, two, there is a slight scratch around the back here. Is that a scratch or is that just wood grain? I, it looks like a scratch. Maybe it's wood grain, but there is a long line here. I you know what? I believe that's just a deep wood grain cut in the wood. So, you know, I know you can't see it, but there, there's a long line here. I believe that's the grain of the wood. It would have been nicer if it wasn't so deep, but again, nothing much you can do. The base is made of wood. Um, nice little stands on the bottom. I should have shown that. It is solid on, as you can see. I'm really taking a chance here with this. <laughs> should have checked before I flipped. Nice solid wood. Great paint job. They beveled the corners here. It looks really good. It's a great design just for a little standy. Nice and thick. Because it is a small maquette. I mean, if you look at the, here's a three and three quarter action figure just above three and three quarters of so what four inches four and a half inches so it is a small maquette in size but it doesn't seem small it seems like a good size here and i believe it's one-to-one -one scale too and right there as you can see it's got a bit of a paint chip i believe i'm going to chalk that up to sh shipping again it looks like because i saw this protruding out of the out of the bubble wrap it was poking out so i can only assume it's been rubbing on the inside of the styrofoam through shipping constant vibration and movement but small small details what i love about this is friggin reese man it's a great design the 3d print it's so detailed i mean the smallest bumps the wrinkles the paint job you did a fantastic job on this paint job it looks really good. I like how it goes from pale to the front to dark in the back. It almost as seems as if these, this aliens kind of worker aliens on the farm where they get the sun on the back as they are down in the, in the, in the goat grass or so. Great job on the paint job. The plaque, fantastic. It's simple, signature, love it. And it just goes well with the piece. It's just great. Love it, love it, love it. So proud of it. It is a bit pricey. I wish it was a little bit less uh, I think that's, I guess, is the other thing I wish was better, but um, I live in Canada. What are you, you going to do, unfortunately? Fo when you're a focus collector like I am with, with a guy that's so fringe, uh, man, uh, sometimes you just, you have to jump at because where are you going to find this? There was only like a, th a thousand made, so I had to jump at it. Yeah, it got me. All right, let's, let's finish this up. So there you go. The Regal Robot, Rees Maquette, fantastic, super thumbs up, super happy about this. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it in my collection. I have to find a place. I didn't think that my Rees collection would grow <laughs> as much as it has, but there you go. I got things from action figures to like, like Mexican ripoff Rees. <laughs> so we got to find a nice place for him. I'm going to put him to the side right now, right over here. All right, there you go. He's, he's gonna sit over my shoulder. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to it when I hold on to him. <laughs> all right, thank you guys. Thank you, Regal Robot, for making this. I'm serious. Like, it's of all the things you could have made, like a Reese bust is like that surprised the heck out of me. Next, how about you know nine nun? That's pretty cool too. I think it's cool. Think about, it, think about. It. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, check out our video for more information on my Rees costume build, which I'm currently doing. I built a Nia Nun. I built a, a, a Biker Scout. It's my journey to joining the 501st and Rebel Legion. We're up to 300. Love to get to 400 uh, subs. And we have shorts as well. They're lots of fun. I'll be doing some more small little unboxings on that. There's lots of fun of trooping and wandering around in costume. Hope you enjoyed, and remember, armor and busts are built on hope. Bye.